Welcome back, I'm Kim Bailey and this is Floral Art Online. Today I want to talk to you about judging and about competitions and I'm going to show you two designs that I submitted for a recent competition, neither of which were placed, both of which I thought should have been placed. So what I'm going to do is talk to you about the design and how I put it together and my thinking about it and then I'm going to submit it to our new AI judging assistant our smart assistant and see what it suggests about the design given that the instructions that it gets in terms of assessing and analyzing designs are based on the principles and elements of design which is how we are judged for our designs so first of all let me talk about this one this one the the topic for this one was basic modern it was in a day where we needed to use Australian native flora so that's why I've got this particular choice of flora we've got a banks here flower this is koala grass koala fern rather koala fern uh, it's dried now so it's been um, away from the competition for about three weeks but obviously it dries as ni nicely as it, it is when it's fresh I've got a, a palm spade that is a native palm a bunya palm and inside of that I've got some other dried plant material now that it didn't have to only be native plant material so I've got some camellia seed pods that fill the, the, the container there I'll probably do a little bit of a close-up so you can see that a bit more clearly now with a basic modern uh, it is a very defined design style for this competition so it has to be a simple container one point of emergence which is why I've, I've put everything in this one side but it's leaning over to the other side to incorporate that other side of the design this is what would be termed a modern design now modern can be confusing in terms of modern or contemporary modern in our design style definitions means anything from the 60s 70s maybe into the 80s so it, it's that kind of era so this is when this uh, style of, of vase was used yes it, it is a uh, more so used for ikebana than it is for floral design and i apologize for my voice i am recovering from a bit of a winter lurgy but this is the style of, of vase that we would use yes i pushed the envelope as i do by using something that had two uh, vessel areas but i've tried to incorporate the second one by having the point of emergence out of one and just incorporating with the movement of the design the second part of the, the uh, container so we'll leave that one there and then I'll run through what our design eye the AI analyst says about this particular design in terms of competition what I'm hoping that you'll see in, in using design eye is that it, whether it's before or after your competition or just if you want a bit of a encouragement about what you're doing that it will give you an idea of things that you can do of where you're getting it right and where you need to concentrate a little bit more on what you're doing with the design so let's leave that one for there and we'll go through what design eye says about the design and then we'll go on to the second one Let's now have a look at our very specifically designed AI, which we've called Design Eye for our Floral Art Online members. Let's have a look at how it analysed my designs and see what it suggested as improvements on those designs. So here is the basic modern design that I talked about earlier in the video. So first of all, looking at line, the arrangement uses a variety of lines. The vertical stems of the fern create a strong vertical line emphasizing the modern aesthetic. The curved lines of the dried material add a touch of softness. In terms of shape, the design uses a combination of geometric and organic shapes. The vase is a basic geometric shape, which is true, it's a couple of circles joined by a rectangle. The plant materials have more organic shapes, particularly the dried material. If we now look at color and texture, the color palette is limited keeping with the basic modern title. The foliage is bright green with some light brown and the remainder is in the brown palette. The vase is a green beige colour, which is probably true. It's got a little bit of brown in it, but you can't actually see it in the image. Texture, the textures of the arrangement vary. The vase has a smooth matte texture. The foliage has a smooth waxy texture, while the banksy provides a rough texture contrast to the smoothness of the other dried material. If we look now at, or AI looked now, at balance and proportion, the design has asymmetrical balance. 
The foliage and banksia are on the left side of the arrangement, while the remainder appears on the right, although all come from one point of emergence, so it's a radial design. The asymmetrical balance creates a more dynamic and visually interesting look. Proportion. The scale of the plant material and the vase is proportionate. The plant material is not too tall or too short for the vase, and the vase is not too large or too small for the plant material as it is placed. So a rhythm and emphasis. There is some repetition of colour in the design. The brown flecks of the foliage are echoed in the dried material. However, there is not a strong sense of rhythm created by line, shape or size. And I found that an interesting assessment because I had hoped that the curving line was um, providing some rhythm and some repetition as well. So it's interesting that it picked up that it doesn't, doesn't see that. The emphasis, the dried material is the focal point of the design. It is visually the largest and most dominant, visually, of the plant material placements. And that's true. And I think that perhaps that detracts from it being a simple design now that I look at it in terms of this very specific feedback that I've got, which is one of the reasons that we want and going to encourage you to use Design Eye is that it gives you unbiased feedback and things that you might not have seen. When you look at it again a second time, you think, yes, that's right, and I'll, I'll change it, I'll adjust it up. So the uh, Design Eye suggestions for improvement strengthen the sense of rhythm, which we've just talked about. You could achieve this by repeating a smaller piece of dried material on the left side of the arrangement, replacing the banks here, to create a mirror image. Alternatively, you could use other stems or flowers with vertical lines to echo the lines of the foliage. So what it's suggesting there is that because there's no rhythm in terms of the of repetition of the lines, that I have to make a decision about doing one or the other. I will say that as you would have seen in the video that as the fern has dried it has actually curled around and followed the line of the dried material so there's much more rhythm in it now two weeks later than there was when I put it on the bench. The other suggestion is considering adding a pop of colour a small amount of brightly coloured flowers or foliage could add visual interest without compromising the overall modern aesthetic. So I, I don't quite know how I would do that given that I wanted to use this plant material in this container and I think probably my big problem is that it is the wrong container. It shouldn't have the two openings because that's creating a problem for me in terms of getting that rhythm and getting that, that very clean lines of the basic modern arrangement that it should be. So overall, um, Design Eyes Assessment, the, the basic modern floral arrangement is a well-designed piece that effectively uses the elements and principles of design to create a stylish and modern look. With a few minor tweaks, you could strengthen the sense of rhythm and add a touch of visual interest. So very much a useful uh, analysis for me to go back and have a look at that design and rethink what I used and perhaps not get so obsessed with using a particular container because I like it and think it's the right one to use but actually think about the overall design as a whole so we're always learning isn't that the case now let's go on to yarning circle the title for this second design was yarning circle now this is a particular activity in terms of Australia the Australian indigenous people and a yarning circle is where the community gathers to talk about stories, to yarn, to tell stories. And there is a specific layout that they have for that, that area. So what I wanted to do, and, and again, once again, we did have to use Australian native plant material, so I have used only Australian native plant material in this particular one. So the base of it is a slice of banks here, and it's got a smaller slice in the center to lift it up a little bit. It was judged all around, so I'll just give it a bit of a spin so you can see it all around. So being judged all around it means it has to be interesting from every angle and tell the story from every angle as well. So what I've, I've done is use, these are Gynea lily, Dorianthus excelsa, uh, stems, very fibrous and I've cut those three there and I've got three matching banksias to form the circle for the yarning activity. I've drilled some holes in the Banksia slice to put the Banksia flowers in, putting them at slightly different angles. Once again, I've used the koala fern 
uh, to give it height and to, to bring a little bit of movement into the, the activity so it looks like the things are spinning around, to, to moving around. They are actually in water tubes um, that are covered with the Gymea lily foliage. And I've got a few little um, gum nuts just to cover the base of the water vials that are there. So when it was judged, these were fresh, these were nice and green, give it a little bit of vibrancy because the rest of the, the material is dried or drying out. <coughs> Once again, I felt that this was um, conversant with the compliant or matching the um, class title and it wasn't placed and I was surprised that it wasn't placed as were many of the other competitors that were there because they felt that it was a nice clean design and it very much mirrored the way that a yarning circle is set up within a community in terms of the, the seating arrangements and, and the actual the way it looks. Normally there's a fire pit or, or something uh, in the centre that where people can gather around it but it's always a circle. Um, so again we'll give this to Design Eye to our smart AI analysis tool and see what it says about what I could have done differently to have moved myself up in the point score and gained an award from this design. So let's see what Design Eye has to say. Here is our design or my design for a yarning circle. The space allowed as you can see that it's on a plinth and that's 600 mil square and that is the size that we are allowed in terms of the uh, width and the depth and the height is unlimited and it is judged all around so as I said in the video it needs to be interesting all around. Let's see what Design Eye has got to say. First of all in terms of lines and shapes, lines, the design uses curved lines throughout the arrangement creating a soft and organic feel and it's interesting that those three uprights, the Gymea lily stalks are quite dominant but the overall effect is that it is curved lines because it's the, the circular base, the circular banksias, the circular gum nuts, the koala fern that is fluid in its movement but has a curved line to it. So an, an interesting um, observation by our design eye. In terms of shapes, the overall shape of the arrangement is circular, echoing the yarning circle title. The banksia flowers are also various shapes and sizes, adding to visual interest. Colours and texture now. The colours in the design are all neutral tones of brown and green. This creates a sense of calmness and reflects the natural materials used. For texture, the design has a variety of textures from the smooth surface of the wooden block to the rough texture of the koala fern and the gymea stems. Balance and proportion. The design has radial balance with the design radiating out from a centre point. This creates a sense of unity and stability. And for proportion, the scale of the plant material is appropriate for the size of the wooden base. So that is something that you do need to keep an eye on in terms of bases that you're using, that the base doesn't dominate. Because this is quite a heavy, thick base, it could dominate the design if I didn't get the proportions right. Rhythm and emphasis. The repetition of the plant material throughout the design creates a sense of rhythm. And there is no clear focal point in the design. All of the plant material has equal weight. Interesting. I, I, I can see that that is the case, but I, at the time, was so focused on making it this circle and the reflection of the, the actual yarning circles that are built in the environment that I didn't notice that at the time. So suggestions for improvement. The focal point... Uh, consider adding a central focal point to draw the viewer's eye into the design. Now, as I said in the video, they often have, in real life, they have a fire pit or some sort of central gathering point, and I missed the boat with that. I put the two banksias in, but I was so worried about having them facing different ways, I didn't make it a strong central point. Colour, while the neutral colour scheme is calming, you could consider adding a pop of colour to make the design more visually interesting. And that's what I could have done with that central focal point. Made it a bit more, got some of the uh, red banksias or some other red native flower, large enough flowers put in there or massed them together. Negative space. The design currently fills the entire wooden base. You could consider leaving some negative space around the edges of the arrangement to give the plant material more room to breathe. So that's an interesting observation because I had hoped that there was going to be 
of movement and negative space within it, but I can see that it's quite densely populated down at the base now that I look at it after a few weeks of, of review. So very interesting um, observations from our design eye. Once again, things that I think are useful for me and would have been useful for me to have a look at before I stage the design. So you can use this before you stage a design or you can use it as an additional bit of uh, feedback after your design. So overall, the yarning circle floral design is simple and elegant. It evokes a sense of peace and tranquility. The use of natural materials is appropriate for the theme. With a few minor changes, the design could be even more visually appealing. So I really appreciate the feedback that I've got through that, uh, submitting that image to Design Eye. It has given me some food for thought. It will go into my book of re review for the, this particular show. And it's very important in terms of this particular show because we don't often get written feedback. We don't get any verbal, verbal feedback on the day. And very rarely do we get written feedback and sometimes not on all of the designs that we've submitted. So this is a really useful tool for me to use to revisit some of these designs, learn from what it is saying, because this is all still based the way we are with life judges on the principles and elements of design. So it's all useful material. So I would encourage you to give Design Eye a try. For the, in the short term, we're having it as a free offering. On the website and there'll be a link at the end of the video. Give it a try, see what it tells you about the designs that you're thinking about or that you have submitted and you want not really sure what you should have done to make it a bit better than it was on the day. It's a, such a useful tool for us, it's a really good education tool for us regardless of what stage of your floral design journey you're on. So please take, make some use of it and let me know what you think.